Hello, my name is Zach Fabus. I'm a ISU Stevenson Fellow, um, currently in my applied practice at the City of Bloomington with the John M. Scott Healthcare Commission. Uh, so, where to start? Uh, well, I should mention that I'm from Woodstock, Illinois. I did my undergrad at Roosevelt University in Chicago and studied international relations. Um, and that kind of influences where I am now because uh, growing up in a small town, I always was eager to, to get out. Uh, I, I always wanted to see more of the world. Uh, my family, they aren't really big travelers. We never went very far from our hometown. So I think that only, you know, made me want to get out even more. Um, so while I was in my undergrad at Roosevelt University, the, the first time I had the opportunity to, to leave the country was for an internship with the US Department of State in Vienna, Austria, which was such a cool opportunity. Um, working there, I was with the public affairs section at the embassy, and our job really was to um, influence and improve and make positive the uh, Austrian public's perceptions of the American people. So that meant, you know, promoting different cultural events, engaging in like cultural exchange, we would do events especially the ones I participated in were directed towards younger people and uh, kind of having discussions on American and Austrian culture, uh, different issues like with politics. Um, it was really amazing, an awesome experience. And during my time there, uh, it, I at least learned how important the exchange or cultural exchange element is to the process of diplomacy. Um, really, to me, I think the most effective means of diplomacy is that engagement with the public. Uh, so while there, um, my supervisor actually, he turned my attention to the Peace Corps because when he was uh, younger, he had done the Peace Corps actually way back when they were doing it um, in Russia. And so he had served in the Peace Corps in Russia and was a huge proponent of it. Um, and so he encouraged me to also pursue that. Um, I also was interested in Eastern Europe, uh, countries in the former Soviet Union. So for me, it made sense to apply for positions in that area of the world. I originally applied for a position in Ukraine. Uh, my runner up was Georgia. And then I believe my third on the list was Albania. Um, and so I qualified to be an English teacher. So at the time they didn't have uh, enough positions open for that in Ukraine. So I ended up actually going to Georgia, which um, at the time I was a little bummed out because I wanted to go to Ukraine. But um, now in hindsight, I'm so happy it worked out that way because the experiences that I had there um, that I feel like we're so unique to that country. We're so kind of integral in shaping who I am now and also leading me to uh, the Stevenson Center and shaping my career aspirations as well. So while in Georgia, I taught at a public school in a town called Gorjani. Um, I taught between first and 12th grade. So in Georgia, all the students are put together in one school. Uh, so teaching anywhere between first and 12th grade is a challenge. Um, 
<laughs> I think in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to necessarily be teaching them all in the same school, but of course, um, that is a challenge <laughs> that we all had to face there. Um, so while working as a teacher, one of the things that I found uh, I could best aid with um, was uh, working on improving my counterparts' pedagogical skills, um, so kind of like their methods in the classroom. Of course, they had all been teaching for a very long time, and so I had to be very mindful of this and sensitive because at the time I was 22, um, and I didn't want to just come in and tell them they're doing it all wrong because truly, what do I know too? Um, <laughs> being there and really only receiving a few months of training to teach, I I had to learn, you know, on the job. Um, and so anyway, I, I found that helping them improve their teaching was the way I could be most effective at my job and improve the experiences, or at least the educational experience of my students as well. So I found myself applying for a grant um, to make a kind of improved teaching space for all of the teachers. So this included a large room with, um, rather than having desks, having tables for the students, uh, tables that they could do like posters on and things like that. Also having a computer, a projector, um, which prior to that, the school didn't have reliable access to. So it, applying for that grant and then receiving it, it was a huge benefit to the school. And I found that it was also a huge benefit for the teachers who got to kind of experiment with new kinds of lessons um, that students could be more engaged with and more interested in the lessons. Uh, and then also while in Georgia, I got to, I had the experience of um, working with Peace Corps Gender Equality Committee to do a series of workshops all around the country um, to do kind of, uh, well, the workshops were for um, career preparedness for students. Um, so the idea was to get students in a room with uh, professionals in their community who could be serve as mentors and help them develop things like resumes, uh, look at job applications just so they understood what those look like. Um, and we intentionally went to different uh, isolated, more marginalized communities that typically didn't receive Peace Corps engagement. Uh, and this served kind of the same purpose that I had worked towards while working with the State Department, which was um, improving public's perception of the American people, because many of these communities that we went to to run these uh, workshops had never uh, interacted with an American before the Peace Corps. Um, and so we really served as representatives. Um, and, you know, the workshop too, I hope had a positive effect because for many of these kids, aspiring towards a career or aspiring towards the future is really a privilege that I think we take for granted um, in America. And so many of these kids, because they were in very isolated places, they don't receive the information needed to be able really to like aspire to, you know, look for the experience or um, to really know um, what it takes to like apply for university and things like that. Um, and that also required applying for a grant. So I got to experience that again and uh, work on that process. So 
also serving in Peace Corps, that influenced my decision to um, study anthropology. So that's the field of study that I do at the Stevenson Center. Um, and my time kind of living with a host family in Georgia, experiencing the culture, interacting with it at such an intimate level really inspired me to study anthropology, uh, to be able to kind of use different lenses that we're uh, educated in to observe kind of a culture and society through, uh, through those lenses is, at least it's fascinating to me. Um, and it's something that I think I'll take with me no matter what career I go into. Um, that education has been amazing. Um, and so that leads me to uh, now um, where I'm uh, working in my applied practice. So I work with the John M. Scott Healthcare Commission and it is actually a, well, we've implemented a grants program. So looking at my prior experience, uh, applying for grants, now I'm kind of at the other end of the table and seeing that process behind the scenes. So actually developing a grants program, which has been a really cool experience. Um, I've also seen how much work it takes to, to develop a whole grants program. It is a lot. Um, but I think that um, with all the time that I spent helping to develop this grants program that aims to uh, fund projects related to public health, which, you know, is applicable anywhere, I think it really uniquely prepares me for a career in uh, development, international development and aid, diplomacy, really, like, it, it, it's applicable in so many ways. And through the Stevenson Center, we're given the opportunity to develop these skills while getting a master's degree, which it, we develop these skills, not you know through a class, but in the field, which is so unique and something that I really appreciate. I think uh, following this experience, I am uniquely prepared to actually work a career in the field. Um, and I'm also optimistic for my time after grad school too. I think I can take these experiences um, and pursue so many different careers in different fields, um, which is really amazing. So uh, to wrap this up, if you're thinking about applying for the Stevenson Center, uh, I, I highly encourage you to do so. I wish you luck and uh, yeah, <laughs> good luck. Thanks for listening.